بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آه آه النهارده التوبيك بتاعنا ان شاء الله على ال basics of ultrasound in obstetrics and gynecology ومحدثكم انا احمد خطيب انا كونسلتنت في تمارسن اند ultrasound in the fetal medicine unit of Ain Shams University Maternity Hospital So our objectives in this lecture to know some basic physics which will help us uh, during uh, the usage of ultrasound in obstetrics and gynecology uh, some uh, knowledge about machine adjustment in order to get the proper diagnosis and the transducer orientation then we will uh, finish by Uh, what are the scanning planes we should know so about the basic physics uh, Christian Andreas Doppler was born 1803 died 1853 in Austria and he was uh, uh, a scientist in physics and mathematics he graduated from the Imperial Royal Polytechnic Institute which is now the Vienna University of Technology and worked in Bragg Polytechnic Institute which is now the Czech Technical University and was born in Salzburg beside mother's family died at the Kingdom of Leopardi, Venetia which is now uh, Milan and Venice in Italy What is the Doppler effect or Doppler shift? This theory was first proposed by the Christian Andreas Doppler in 1842 and uh, was illustrating the uh, colored light of the binary stars and some other stars of heaven. The hypothesis uh, was tested for sound waves by Bice Ballou in 1845. The Doppler effect or Doppler shift are the changes in frequency or wavelength of a wave for an observer who is moving relative to the wave source. The best illustrating uh, thing to know what the Doppler effect or Doppler shift is is the siren of an ambulance when it comes to you and move away from you. This is Bais Balou who tested the uh, Doppler effect or Doppler shift for sound and the hypothesis was was tested for sound in 1845 as we mentioned before the first one who tested these hypotheses for medical purposes was Shigo Satomura which is a Japanese doctor born 1956 observed that erythrocyte can reflect the ultrasonic waves and this effect is called the Doppler effect so Doppler effect as we mentioned before is a change in the frequency of the reflected ultrasound waves background backscattered from the structure that is in motion the Doppler ultrasonography because of its accessibility and non-invasiveness safety and easy uh, for patient has become the method of choice in the diagnosis of vascular diseases we don't have to know a lot or much of physics uh, in our practice but we need to know some information that help us in reaching the proper diagnosis and uh, analyze the results of our ultrasound scan properly so we need to know what 
we mean by frequency and what and the difference between low frequency and high frequency the frequency as we get low frequencies we have a more wavelength and if we increase the frequency the wavelengths get much smaller as we see here this is the wave length and the wavelength is inversely proportionate to the frequency by this simple equation and this is called the amplitude so the speed of sound in any medium will differ dramatically from air to metal with the lowest speed in air and high speed in metal the clinical application of this piece of information is that we will visualize or we will uh, see by ultrasound machines the structures depending on the speed of sound in these structures so what is ultrasound the sound is classified is based upon the ability of the human ear to hear it and uh, the audible sound range for the human ear is ranging from 20 to 27 hertz and the medical ultrasound equipment using a frequency range from 2 to 10 megahertz and maybe up to 17 nowadays for diagnostic purposes we use in the obstetric and gynecology uh, ultrasound transducers a frequency range uh, from 3 up to 10 megahertz people was using the ultrasound at the first instance in the radar ultrasound waves are generated from piezoelectric crystals within the transducer and when an alternate current is applied to these crystals when the electricity comes to the transducers through the cable the alternate current is applied to these crystals they contract and expand at the same frequency at which the current changes polarity and generate an ultrasound beam so the ultrasound beam uh, traverses into the body at the same frequency generated then it returns back to the crystals making an oscillation and this oscillation will change to an electric uh, 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 energy and transferred to the screen with some sort of magnification uh, before so the modern transducers have crystals made of synthetic uh, plumpium zeichronium titanate what are the modes of ultrasound we have a mode and a refers to amplitude we have the B mode and B refers for brightness which is the grayscale and M mode refers for motion M refers for motion Doppler mode or color Doppler mode and pulse inversion mode as well as the harmonic tissue imaging mode so who can perform the ultrasound one who has a competent use of ultrasound techniques requires an understanding of 
the capabilities and limitations of ultrasound, and the different parameters which contribute to the image display, and we will talk about it in a while, the anatomy of the scanned area. Uh, here we finish the first part of our lecture, and the uh, second part will be we will talk about the machine adjustment, uh, and we will notify you about the uh, time we will talk about uh, this topic and thank you all for your kind listening